Good day, class. Our lesson for today is about materials that absorb and do not absorb water. If you spilled your milk, what sort of material would you use to clean it up? Okay, let's watch a short video about materials that absorb water. Materials that absorb water. If you accidentally spilled your milk, what sort of material would you use to clean it up? A clean rug can be used to clean the spilled milk. But what makes it a good material to clean milk or liquid? Take a look at this video. Observe what will happen to the sponge and liquid from the glass. The sponge absorbs the liquid from the glass. What's our evidence? When we squeeze the sponge, liquid comes out. Absorb means to take something in such as water in a natural or gradual way. Porous means small holes to allow air or liquid to pass through. Examples are tissue paper, sponge, mop. Non-porous means materials that do not allow air or liquid to pass through. They do not absorb water. Examples are mug, plastic bottle cups, and coins. Okay. Water soaks into many materials. These materials absorb water. They are called porous. What do we mean by socks? Socks means to enter or pass through something. For example, this one. The water enter or pass through the sponge that is soft. Absorb means to take in something such as liquid in a natural or gradual way. So, for example, the sponge, we put in, we put in a glass of water and then the sponge absorbed the water. So how can we say that the sponge absorbed the water? What, what's our evidence? First, the liquid, the amount of liquid decreases or it will be gone. So nasaan siya napunta? So sip sip siya ni sponge. And when we squish the sponge, kapag piniga natin si sponge, liquid comes out. May lalabas na tubig. That's the evidence na ang isang bagay ay nakasipsip ng tubig or this material absorb water. Porous materials. Porous materials are materials having small holes that allow air or liquid to pass through. May maliliit silang butas. Halimbawa, sponge. As you can see, there's a lot of small holes. Ang daming maliliit na butas. Palaki na rin yan. Yang mga yan. Yan ang dahilan kung bakit nakakapasok ang hangin at tubig. So, ibig sabihin, porous materials, these are materials that can absorb water. Examples, sponge, face towel, tissue, and mop. So these materials, the, these porous materials, these are materials that can absorb water. There are a lot of materials also that water will not soak into. These materials repel water. They are called non-porous. What do you mean by repel? Repel means not to allow a substance to be absorbed into it. For example, this leaf. Kadalasan nakikita natin to sa, mga, sa, sa dahon ng gabi. Nakikita na kayo ng gabi. 
Pag binuusan mo siya ng tubig, dadaus-dus lang si tubig. Hindi siya sisipsipin or ia-absorb no dahon or leaf. So, it will not allow water to pass through. So, that is that means repel. Okay? Non-porous. These are materials that do not allow water to pass through. Ang tawag sa mga bagay na yun na hindi pinapayagang uh, makapasok ang tubig, ang tawag sa kanila non-porous. So, sila yung mga bagay na hindi nakakasipsip ng tubig. They are called non-porous. Example, makikita nyo dito sa payong pag umuulan. Dumadaos-dos lang yung tubig, hindi siya, hindi sinisipsip ng, ng payong yung tubig. Kasi yung payong non-porous siya. It will not allow water to pass through. Hindi siya nakakasipsip ng tubig. So what are the other examples? Glass, coin, plastic bottle, wood, gloves. Okay, pansinin natin, class. Saan gawa ang mga bagay na hindi nakakasipsip ng tubig? Una, glass. Yung drinking glass natin ay gawa sa salamin. Ang mga salamin ay hindi sila nakakasipsip ng tubig. They do not absorb water. Ganun din ang coin. Saan gawa ang coin? Gawa siya sa metal. Metals do not absorb water. Plastic bottle and gloves. Gawa sila sa plastic. O, oh, gloves gawa sa rubber. So, hindi sila nakakasipsip ng tubig. Ganun din ang wood. Mga kahoy, hindi sila nakakasipsip ng tubig. Maliban na lang sa ugat ng halaman. Okay? So that's all for today, class. Goodbye. See you next class.